Hey, what's going on guys? Jake Verden Tech here, and in this video, we're going to be talking about some photo editing. And more specifically, we're going to be in Lightroom, and I'm going to show you guys how to take a photo that you might really like the focus that the photo was in or the composition, but when you dump the SD card and brought them into your editing software, whether it's Lightroom or another software, the lighting just wasn't what you wanted and it might look very poor in in my case here we had some photos that looked very yellow so in this video I'm gonna show you guys how to fix that alrighty guys here we are in Lightroom and I believe they used to call this Lightroom CC but just to give you an idea this is the wrong version 4.1 and this is also the version of Lightroom that is available on mobile and I didn't realize it's also available on web as well but what I like to do most of my photo editing in as long as I'm not doing heavy manipulation like um, something that I would do in Photoshop here is a small selection of photos that most of them have very poor lighting and these photos they just have too they're way too warm and have a lot of yellow lighting so I'm gonna show you guys in this video how to clean that up so starting off we have a photo of Poppy that is a great photo in my opinion I like the composition I like that we have the foreground element right here but like I mentioned the lighting is just terrible it's very warm and there's a couple ways we can fix that and that's what this video is all about so first things first a lot of times first I'll go through the light and adjust the exposure and contrast and all that stuff but the yellow in this photo is just so distracting so i want to take care of that first so a couple ways you could do it if it, the photo looks very yellow and overly warm to you you can go over to your calvin scale and adjust that and just cool it off a bit kind of like that that's one way of fixing it but in my opinion i actually like instead of cooling off the whole photo i really just want to take the yellow out and maybe alter the yellow a bit so for a while I didn't know this about Lightroom but there is the color mixer down here and then you can if you expand that you can actually adjust all the colors in the photo so I'm gonna select yellow and I'm just gonna start to pull the yellow out of the photo and as you can see it cleaned it up immediately and there's still some yellow in this photo but we can actually make it a bit more orange or bit more green I'm actually gonna make the hue just a hair orange and I'm actually gonna bring up the luminance a little bit so it doesn't look too orange and kind of brightens it up a bit but as you can see that cleaned up our photo immediately so right now I can go back adjust my exposure and contrast and just do what I need to do I kind of like the exposure of this photo. But a lot of the editing stuff in Lightroom is very subjective, so you just got to kind of style it the way you like. And we can still adjust the Calvin scale a little bit. I'm going to cool it off just a tad and make it look nice and neutral. We can also play with the vibrance and saturation, of course. Lately, I've been increasing the vibrance a little bit and just bringing down the saturation of hair on some photos. There is color grading tools now in the latest room, in the latest version of Lightroom. I haven't messed with them too much, but you can, in your midtones, add some different colors and the shadows and highlights too. So, in this one, I don't want to add a whole lot of texture. So I might decrease the texture a bit, maybe just increase the clarity. But as you go too crazy with the texture, your photo will start to look very artificial and I don't want to age our subject too much. And dehazing always tends to darken the photo a bit. So a lot of times I'll dehaze just a hair and I'll end up going back up to my exposure and just bringing that up a tad. But there you go guys, that's it for our first photo. And as you can see, this is what we started with. Like I said, I really like the, I mean, our subject was in, pulled really good focus. 
decent composition. I like our foreground element, but just terrible lighting. So that's the beauty of Lightroom is you can make some adjustments and make the photo look really nice. And if you want guys, what we could do is in the same shoot, I also have this photo, which about the same way our subject pulled really good focus, but we're dealing with the poor yellow lighting again. So I could do a quick, uh, I can copy the edit settings. And I can go ahead and paste the edit settings onto the other photo too. But as you can see, it won't perfectly match always, depending on the camera settings from photo to photo. But in this one, it just looks like the highlights might be a bit much. So we can bring that down a bit. And we could also you know, maybe cool it off a bit more. But then you can just make minor adjustments from there. But once again, this is what we started with. And then we just copied over those edit settings, made a couple tweaks, and this is what we got. Now another thing too, guys, I know a lot of this can be fixed in camera where you adjust your white balance. But usually I have like auto white balance set or one of the different lighting presets on my Canon camera. But I'm not real good with the... Um, manual white balance so a lot of times i just like fixing it in post and it's pretty easy as you guys can see but once again we got a very yellow photo so i'm gonna pull back that yellow maybe warm it up a hair to orange And even though I pulled back the yellow for this photo, it still looks very, a little bit overly warm to me. So go up to our Calvin scale and bring that over. We don't want it too much. As you can see, it looks a little too blue. Then we go there, it's a little bit too warm still. But a lot of that's preference too, if you want a warmer or cooler photo. But that seems to be somewhere perfectly in the middle. And then we can try and bring out the reds a bit just to give it a little bit of pop and the bag has really neat texture so maybe we can bring out the texture a bit bring up the clarity dehaze just a hair and then to focus in on our subject a little bit, maybe we'll add some vignette. But like I said, yeah, as I know, I'll say it over and over again. This is all kind of preference. But that's about how I would edit a photo like this. So going from something like this to that. Alrighty, guys, that is it for this video. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and got some useful tips and tricks on how you can fix very poor lighting and in our case here we had some very overly warm lighting and to where it gave our photos a very orangish yellow hue. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this one and found it helpful. I really enjoy photography and photo editing. So I might try to include some more videos like this on the channel. So let me get, know what you guys think in the comments. As always guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.